<laughs> there they are from Holland. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see those dollar bills. Let's see those dollar bills. It's a big hair day. I noticed it's the dry look. <laughs> big, you were having a big slick hair. back in Scotland. Well, you know, everyone there has some short hair, and like, they, not, they don't like long hair. And here, everyone says, oh, don't cut your hair. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's so weird. There's so different, it's different hair. Thing. I felt so conspicuous with all this hair. <laughs> and when I ran out of gel, it took me, everything closed so early. I couldn't get I couldn't get to the store before five. I had to go for two days, and my hair was huge. People looked at me like I was like, ah, you know, like, <laughs> that huge hair. No one wants to talk to me. <laughs> uh, but I've noticed that the short hair is very big here, too. Yeah, it is, but I think, like, I don't know, it's weird. Like, there's so much encouragement here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, should I show you around the place? That, you know, yeah. The video on? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is my office. And here are stacks of tapes and photographs and memento books that when I tie young boys down, <laughs> force them to look at my, my yellowing um, press clips from many years ago. It's all, it's all in here. And here's where I write all my stuff. Here's the kitchen. Here's the... Um, it's so roomy, the kitchen. The, the combination uh, kitchen sink, bathroom sink, urinal. <laughs> that has people in small hotel rooms love. Yeah. So much about them. Here's the... Uh, Stove. See, here's the. Oh, there's the stove. The stove, and then the, the fridge. Here's the, here's the stove. <laughs> you know. It's the fridge, the fridge down there. Oh wow. Well, the coffee well, and tea department is up here, of course. You know, we have the big pot, and then we have the little mini pot. You know, the stove. And here's the wardrobe. With an array of here's the uh, here's my, you know, my international business woman. So here's the uh, the files, all the money, the, the gold bricks that were kept there. And then of course the hall closet. Yeah. Here. Oh, what is frock doing in here? I don't know this frock on it. My newest frock, the Christmas it? twins it's from fabulous. Amsterdam. They made this. They they have this mad cafe in on the on the U truck. Warren Strat in um, beautiful Amsterdam, and they crochet the most amazing. Thing. I have a picture of them. Here they are. There's Las Vegas showboys that. All right. Uh, in a show, they came to Amsterdam to do a show, and they stayed in the 1960s. And they run this mad cafe called Backstage of all the of all the funny names. And then um, uh, let's see. Oh, and then um, oh, here's the bedroom, of course. Oh, look, there's yeah. me. The queen size bed. Oh, this is her. Was bed made for. <laughs> there's the, uh, my this? altar. Oh, that's my, I'm still oh, the altar. Oh, there's my altar to the rubber chicken, to, to bad comedy and off-timing. <laughs> that's about it. Oh, that's, well, that's, that's my little altar. Of... Building yes, 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 that's the, that's the walk-in That's the add room. That's the add-on room. I just added this room. It's, it's a walk-in closet. It's so contemporary. Yeah. It's black. <laughs> oh, and look, there's more company. We have company. Oh, we've got it, company. It's me. The house is built for entertainment. Oh, I was knocking for ages right here on the other end of the hall. We have all the way down. My God, you must... You get so lonely rattling around in all these rooms. Oh, it's, just, and the, it's so drafty, too, you know. Uh, these old big houses, you know, in the country. I just, you know, sometimes I think I should move somewhere small, and now that the kids are gone. You know. well, what are but we watching memories, here? Oh, the, this is mem Down Memory Lane. Down Memory Lane, exactly. The Joe Franklin show. She calls Joe Franklin called Memory Lane, his television show. Yeah. So, uh, it's a whole bunch of queens sitting around talking. And it's the cable TV, TV chat show. The TV. <laughs> right, it's the TVs on TV. So, talk show. What is she wearing? Oh, this is my drag uh, thing down here under the, under the office. All right. My open drag drag office. Safe. It's, it's quite, it, it all pops out. Because, um, Oh. Oh, one of my hobbies is to make fucking rubber penises. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Uh, hey, 
Timmy the Deck Clown. Yes, it's Timmy the Deck Clown. Shoot. <laughs> My name's Timmy the Deck Clown. <laughs> I'm not a five. I'm a Deck Clown. It's a different. Get that through your big head. <laughs> Oh, and there's wigs and all sorts of things. Yeah. All Did sorts I of women's about... under things and <laughs> such. Oh, thanks. Thank you. And then, um, oh, there's a... That's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. <laughs> That's beautiful. I got this. I wear those on the outside of my clothes at Jackie 16. And they and the police folks come up and they look and there's one cop goes up and goes, Oh, it looks so real. And it looks like this and I'm like Police at Jackie 16. Police at Jackie 16. Well yeah, they 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 want there's a lot of um, Roman Catholics out on the street, <laughs> they, they, they come by and check, and they come and fuck to tow the cars, and they're not the better. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, they so couldn't go deal with all that crack cocaine uh, that I was really? seeing, but... Is this recording now? Yeah. It's Series yeah, 2 of Magic Works. Yeah. New yeah. real magic you can master in minutes. Once the skeleton is destroyed, yeah, it's destroyed forever. Not a severed skeleton. Mm. A solid skeleton. Oh, it into three long. pieces. Mm. I put them back into the magical tube, <laughs> place a sword in the middle, <laughs> and the skeleton is whole. Part of the penises. That's impossible. You're right, that's magic. Seven skeletons. 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 Oh, that'd be cool. exhausted from running around. I think oh, I want like, my own bed. Like this tour that I was just on. Yeah, I want my own bed. When we were doing shows, we'd get a hotel, but then in between, I was like, you know, it was like crash pad. It takes it out of you, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it's really, and you have to be on your best behavior, and you have to be oh, like full of height and spot, <laughs> and always be cheerful and positive. And some days I just want to be miserable, you know, and I, I could, you know. I mean, I love it, you know, I mean, it's probably better for me. It's probably my blood pressure. That penis like seems to be having a good time watching TV over there. Yeah, it's right up there. Yeah, yeah. It's very excited about that. <laughs> about the television. <laughs> I think it's about excited about that boy. <laughs> he's getting it. He's about to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all waving at us. Wave at the They're penis. Walk towards the penis. <laughs> Tobin has a character called Vanessa Wagner, who's a Jag supermodel. She's an old denim supermodel. <laughs> denim supermodel slut bag. She's heiress to a denim empire. She's a very lucky girl. There's so much you can do with denim. And she's hostess to Jamie and Vanessa's Wine Bar, which is an ongoing event in Sydney. You know what I love is that stretchy, um, polyester denim print. Oh, I found just, some that stocking denim underpants that came in a jar. Like, <laughs> it was just in a jar. Nice. <laughs> you know, it was like a sheer fabric with the stitch print. That is a good one. Oh, that's it? a good find. That sounds like a time capsule Total thing. time capsule. But it <laughs> in broke. a jar. <laughs> it was in a jar, a plastic jar, but I wore them and they broke up. And I was... All good things so hard to come to nice. an end. Good quality print hose these days. Yeah. Now there's some beautiful underwear you've got hanging up there, Mr. Tate. Well, those are um, Dutch underwear. Are they? From Hema, the, the the Woolworths of Amsterdam. You know, I always shop Hema. the finest. You know. Boxer shorts. Oh, that one's face is just wrong. And there's a ah. very attractive portrait up there in the corner. Oh, you like that? Isn't that nice? Most people don't <laughs> like it. I love <laughs> Hmm? Who, who I found it, it in the garbage one yeah. day. I, it looks like a, oh, I can't remember that artist's name, but it looks like it was something he 
Like a, um, what's this, a Francis Bacon kind of thing? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a uh, Ross Blechner, is that right? Or, no, uh, Philip, no, um, oh, I don't know. One of those ones during that yuppie period in New York when <laughs> all those artists were making all that money. And I was working as a cleaning girl at the Pat Hearn Gallery. <laughs> I went to art school, like, it was, uh, one day I'm going to be at a gallery. Little did I know I'd be, like, dusting everyone else's artwork. <laughs> The only option left to me was show business. <laughs> it's a hard one, isn't it? Oh, yeah, well, if you can't type, it's always show business. Thanks very much. Thanks for And there's no business like show business. Oh, no, it's, oh the merm! Oh. <laughs> the merm, of oh, course. Uh, uh, are you a merman? Uh, are you a merman? Uh, or are you into Judaism? <laughs> I'm Judy submissive and merman dominant, definitely. <laughs> I'm not really into Judaism. I'm more into Liza, actually. <laughs> oh, there was a Liza um, at the uh, at Wigstock. Do you know who that would be? She did a Liza. A real girl. There's a real girl, Terry Paris, that like does Liza. Liza not a real girl. No. no who, there's so many Lizas. <laughs> who knows? Just one of millions of the multitudes. You've got me feeling very plain today. <laughs> Doesn't that mean angry in, in New York? Plain. Yeah. Plain. Uh, it's plain. Plain. Plain's just plain anywhere, isn't it? I suppose so. <laughs> it's it's international plain. for plain. <laughs> for beige. It's not easy being beige. It's more than just a colour, so it's many a state of, of mind. Beige. Mark used to do a song on his show called It's Not Easy Being Beige. <laughs> My mother said you'd like it, but it'll fade. This one, let's check you a little more, is, um... Can you move Penny while I think Penny's getting a bit greedy? Penny? Penny's getting this greedy. Is, um, Get back into your is, shorts. This is a little, head, uh, <laughs> like a little, um, work tape I have when I do this show, my funeral, and then all these queens in, in the scene change, the little vaudeville skit show in the scene change on the, oh, I'm trying to, it was like they were supposed to be at my funeral, you know, like, I was dead, and I was in London, and someone taped it, I had no control over what they said, oh, really? they just, these queens came up to each other, it was I think happy was happy was a real pioneer of, of um, voluptuous horror in a way. 
Voluptuous horror. 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 Vo
It was already three in New York at one time. But I was just from Georgia. I didn't know. What did I know? She had a feeling. <laughs> So we thought we'd call her Happy Days Rockefeller. And that's how she got the name. Happy Days Rockefeller. You got the name from wearing happy faces. Is that yeah, yeah, what's smiley face? With tapes the and shows things. and memories. RuPaul, I would grab. Is this RuPaul? Alive now as they were when they were alive. Like, say, Lucille Ball, um, she's as much alive today as she was when she, uh, when she was really alive in her flesh, because something like, I mean, Scarlet Tape, you know, Scarlet Television on tape, and she, in my heart, she's as alive as she always was, you know? Except that, you know, Happy left owing me $50, and I'll never see that $50 again. But I'll always have, <laughs> Millions of dollars worth of happy experiences in my heart that will always live forever. And that I'll pass on to friends, and they'll pass on to friends, and the legend lives forever. There is no such thing as death. Death is, uh, is, uh, is a part of life, and it's this, you know, it has a, a bad rap, you know. There is no such thing as death. It's just a transformation. It's, happy's been transformed into uh, legendary status, okay? Happy is legendary. Happy is inside of me, all of inside of me, okay? I am happy. What you see before you is happy. Happy is everything. Everything is happy. Everything is everything. I believe in happy and believe happy will live forever. Oh my God. I just remembered something. I can't believe she's gone. She still owes me $50. <laughs> <laughs> so you must have owed thousands if it was Well, I want to make this movie someday where I'm like in the room counting all this, you know, <laughs> Money. with a fake obituary and like all these, I'm counting $50 bills. <laughs> 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 I'm counting my name and I turned around. There was Miss Face. Miss <laughs> Face. She asked to borrow $50 and, well, frankly, I was, I was surprised, but I sensed from her clothes and her hair that life had not been good to her. So I gladly gave her the fifty dollars and you know, she promised to pay me back. And of course I knew that that was not going to happen. <laughs> she was such a dear old friend of my mother's. They, they, they were at convent school together, I believe. I'm never quite certain how they met. But Miss Face and I saw quite a bit of one another in the next couple of months and when I needed encouragement she was there and when I was thrashing about looking for something to do she offered me a job at Happy's back door. I think it was then known as Whispers and I uh, <laughs> had gainful employment with her for a, a few brief months and it was the, it was a wonderful moment in my life. Uh, she, she and all her friends welcomed me with open arms and it was a Sort of important storm. I shall never forget her. Hi. 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 Happy was one of the first people to meet me with the warm open arms in New York. New York City, I thought it was cold and hard, but as soon as I got off the bus, there was Happy. You know, he showed me all around Port Authority. <laughs> I'd been on the bus for quite a while and, and uh, I needed to freshen up, you know, use the bathroom or whatever. And Happy knew right where it was and, and uh, even showed me one of the most preferable stalls. That's how she put it, I think. <laughs> and uh, later that night, over a tuna taco with tahini sauce, <laughs> I told Happy I was in love, and, and uh, 
chance maybe she could borrow fifty dollars. <laughs> But she also bought what? Oh, two bottles of beer. Two bottles of beer. What? Somebody sold it to her. No, 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 it was for us. She didn't drink it. We got the beer back. But she also bought two bottles of beer. Somebody sold this 11-year-old child two bottles of beer, did not ask for ID. Well, and they asked for an ID, but I told my legend in the hotel, and they believed me. And just gave it to you anyway? Yeah. And we wonder why these young ladies are dressed like that. Are you yes, really sir. proud of that? No. I mean, the honest scares me as much as the fact that it you could hit a dress. Yeah, I mean, to show how close to your mother. I'd yeah. yeah. dress up like a tart, too. <laughs> 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 exactly. Look at the mother. Knowing you can't, can get you in big trouble. When you know you have that job, whether you're drinking the beer or whether you're getting it for somebody else. I love how this is like kitchen tour. Maybe just put on national television. It's like disgusting. keep it in the lounge room. Well, but, but, but see, Candy, the reason why well, we, we don't have a culture, so we have to we have to rely on our, you know. No matter what you look like, they would sell for a, a bitch. And they sold for a bitch. They bought a bitch. Or even cigarettes. But the point of the matter is, when you're 11 years old, guys and people will pray. This child is only allowed out in the neighborhood for one hour at a time. Right. Well, you know, now, before we took that a break... That must be a fun said, hour. <laughs> she she was crying a lot into that hour. You know what Sam is? You know what Sam is? Sam, come on out for a minute, please. Let's do that mic. Is it on? Here's Sam. Give Sam a hand. Go up to Sam. 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 Sam is a rapper. You got our own group. Plug your group with Sammy Root. Name of the group, BRC. We're from Northern California. Uh, BRC stands for Brown Reality Coalition, and basically what we like to write about is the stuff that we do. That's pretty much, you know, partying, hanging with girls, hanging with the girls, doing stuff to the girls, getting drunk, hanging out with the guys, just doing the regular old thing. Speaking of girls that you were hanging with, you, you used to go out with Jessica. <laughs> Sounds fascinating. Yeah, I did. Yeah, how, how did you think Jessica was? Oh. I don't know. She told me one thing. What did she tell you? She was 18. Okay, Jessica, how, do you know how old this is? Jessica, why don't you tell them how old you were? Well, I was 16. At the time. Yeah. <laughs> at the time. Yeah, see, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Like, we go and perform at different shows and um, to see different kinds of things, you know what I mean? And we go to shows. See, look at she, she don't look 15. I'm I mean, 16 now. Okay, well, 16 now. Back then, she, she, looked, uh, she looked like Shocking, that. Shocking, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> the youth of America. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on. Try to speak first. Let me speak. What I'm saying is, is like, these girls are asking it. You know, they're going out to these clubs, 21 and over gigs and all this kind of thing. They're the ones taking older sisters' IDs or, or whatnot, or older cousins' IDs. Or so they out. should get what, what they're that? asking for. Yeah, because saying? I'm not the one. I'm not responsible for them. I'm not their father. You know, it's like, if they're going to do it, fine, let them do it. But I'm not the Ooh. one that's going to say, hey. 22-year-old has slipped. I want you to lip sync to him. him. Come on, I'm going to lip sync to him. Where does your responsibility start? You are still responsible for what you do and who you do. Tell me that, oh, if somebody comes up to me and says, <laughs> Look at that. Look at I'm going to assume automatically that you're 21. I'm not going to say, Hey, you're 15. Everybody knows what it says. Well, the fun guy should have said, Hey, 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 h
your daughter, hey, you know, don't go to these things. Sweetheart, or is it coming in nice and clear? It's coming in nice and clear. Ruth Wallace. Sing 20 X rated songs in the 50s. Risque, you betcha. Risque. Is that a relative of yours, Ross? I know. It's a relative of yours. Ruth Wallace. No, no, she's an IS. I'm an ACE. Wallace. She can change her name to avoid family embarrassment, but actually she's a very close relative. Go ahead, your granny. It's actually me and Greg. Here's another one of our American superstars from Provincetown, Rusty Warren. This is Rusty lays on the line, but there's also Knockers Up, 75, Knockers Up, 76, 77, 78, 79. Here's the picture. Forever. She's flat chested though, but she also talks about boobies. My boobies. She's flat chested. As Anthony, your friend, used to say when he had no money, go off sorry, I'm flat busted. Don't talk to me about money, I've got piles. Small on each young or the size. They've all got that flavor. It's still good for you. Gotta have boots. What are you going to do with that peanut? <laughs> oh no, we don't. Because he's usually got it. Oh. 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 Yum! This is delicious! Some... Oh, <laughs> Lick your lips, you little piggy! Lick your lips! What's the taste like? Ooh, creamy! Can you tell if I've been... I think it's low <laughs> Has he been eating asparagus, though? Can you tell that? Remember, he can Hey, what does it mean if the little thing's going down to the bottom? Oh, no, that's telephotos. Okay, I should just shut up. Just leave it on wide. The wide on. The wide on. Yeah, leave it on wide on. Left over of our many cups of tea. Oh, here. Just tea. Just think if all the girls are boobies with fluoridation. Fluoridation. And all the yummy morsels. Be kind to your flat chested friends. Tomorrow she's making a pair of fucking jugs. Gotcha. We've got the cocky. You just pull it up and show us your tip for a sec, will you, love? She said to me, Are you from Queens? I said, No, honey, I'm from normal parents. <laughs> I love that joke. Are you from Queens? No, I'm from normal parents. <laughs> A front bum. Someone. You got a front bum in this photo. Oh, oh that's the early John Wayne Gacy. That was my like early oh, like, two actor. Well, that's the, that's the two actor there. Yeah. Can we get a real, a good cover of that for maybe for Ben because he'd love that. Cut or uncut. <laughs> Oh, blonde. 
You'll find Ooh, them part yeah, of you ain't face. got religion at all. If you're gonna ball, brother, you're <laughs> gonna ball. Just watching soccer, this club greenly carry the ball. I love this way, like a trophy. Ooh, I think they're familiar from the, the drag marathon, that frog. Yes. It was just every time he would score. <laughs> say I did to him what they did to oh, us no. back in the Revolutionary War. We started things up. His nah. accent and mine, yeah. he kept saying, hang on. So I hung on every time. How he got through the high barrier, I'll never know. He said I drove him punky. I thought this meant he had to go. And they didn't see me in the British Museum. And I sure have missed the changing of the guard. But I caught one thing story. away in English and Queen. Yeah. In Grosvenor yeah. Square. It's really smashing. He the kept bloody on truth. waiting. And then yeah. his wife would ruin his peace. I said, explain to her, lovey, this is reverse land lease. Believe me, the English will never be equal to putting up a front in a fight. So I'm back in Britain, sticky wicked and hurrah. And the first Englishman who passed my it's a really good Frida Kahlo at Wigstock watching the beautiful outfit. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I got her on video. Yeah, it's hard. It's really great. It's really hard. <laughs> sure. You'd be welcome there. I want to go when it's winter here, though. <laughs> That's good. It's so oh, good. Look at that. 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 Look at Still about. Oh, yes. No, I go the marathon, the drag marathon. Look during the day, it's going to be a towel. That is the wildest favorite. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, 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 I'm free now for three, like 30, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. Hold on one minute. That's my first time ever. Really? That's my, that's my free after like 3 30. Oh, my God. Happy five. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Mrs. Wiggs in the cabbage patch. Hamlet. Okay. Press the red one? Yeah, it's already going. It's on? Oh, okay. Oh, it's on. <laughs> oh, hi, happy face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is great. But when you walk, it's like a show bag. It is, isn't it? Put a hat. Drag rules, okay. Yeah, I got that. I blew through those. Did she? They're glad. She used to do the pyramid ads, you know. Right. She's all the old pyramid ads. From my paper magazine. His fishing is over and done. <laughs> You'll find him with Grandpa down in the square. And both of them crying their eyes out down there. They have one thing in common shouldn't happen to you. Grandpa's pole doesn't reach to you. <laughs> <laughs> These songs. So What's happening tonight? Mom, Boy bar is reopening. Boy bar is reopening tonight? So what time is that kind of thing? About midnight. Just be walking because it got closed down. All right. Uh, a couple months ago. Like, I think the Snapville got kind of closed down. So it really was this Boy Bar pyramid scene. And, and the Boy Bar queens were like a little, like, hormone And then we were like, you know, a hormone deficient. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, in steroids. Now the world have melded finally, but there was a little animosity there for a while because they were like the, the you know, going towards the sex change crowd. Uh -huh. you know. yeah. So the That's boy bar is reopening now, and it's what 15th different version. No, this is the third. I oh really? Think, oh, or right. the fourth? I don't know. The second? I don't know. Other people have not club nights where they call the fire department. See, there's no fire exit, you know, because they wanted their night to be better, you know, yeah. get that crowd. But it, it always reopens. You know. But it's so mixed now, it's great. You know. So, what happened to the creepy queen who started it? In she has an African bead shop on 7th Street. You know. <laughs> And no friends, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of jewelry, but no friends. Well, and they were really anti drag there, too. They wouldn't have oh, like really? drag reasons. It's so funny because now it's like a huge drag you know, parlor. Yeah. But, you know, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't let women or drag queens in. It's all, you know, Anything all the fans. guys and khakis and sweaters. It was so oh. yuck. It was really horrible. It's like, no one would go there, you know, because it was so. Because we were a mixed club and we were like anti that. We were, we were like, they were facial hair fags and we were the fags against facial hair. F A F H. F A F H. F A F H. You know, and they were like the, you know, like the clone, resi the clone gone yuppie set. Oh, it's just horrible. It's like, you know, that like clone residual. Right. You know, somewhere between. Clone and, and new romantic, you know. They, they were like they never you know, fight. <laughs> they were just like I was horrible. It was a terrible time. You know? oh, no. It's no. all in oh, here. It's very sissy in it's there. All, yeah, it's very sissy. But we're with like, the drag like, queen. I get it. I get it out on set. But you know these leather queens. And, stuff, and so they're sitting around this this brunch at the at the leather bar and, so they, and they're like you know they marry it up you know that one afternoon and that's it and it's just it just blows my mind you know it's like because uh, during the week they're there and they're like and they, they do this they come up to you they go Ugh. like they grunt and then my friend Jack goes you grunt back and like, ah. <laughs> he goes, and then they go mm, like that and you, you go all in, you go through you know Chelsea and you go to their little their little New York Apartment. You think it's gonna be slings and, and leather and it's just you know all like yeah black you know and a mat on the floor and they open up the door and it's like you know Davenport, stuck in <laughs> fogs, whatever they're called, Liberty doilies, Prince. and what do, they, what do they call that thing on the back? Uh, Anti-macasses. <laughs> yeah, anti 
whatever. <laughs> Annie McCassis. And Uncle uh, Bob. <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> There's absolutely no Uncle Bob. It's very <laughs> Auntie McCassis. Auntie McCassis. <laughs> and, uh, and, they go, and, and the bedspread matches the curtains. You know? like, like, that's a silent illness, really. Oh, yeah. They, they, like you certainly can, yes, you can. You can let the tweet go. Uh, you can let the tweet go. You can let the And then, uh, you know, they immediately their butt is up in the air. You know, it's like so amazing. <laughs> Well, there's not a sign of it here, and we're, we're in the no, home of a drag know. queen. Well, there's my fly girl jacket. That's the only thing. <laughs> Virgin <laughs> airline. <laughs> the, the totems for every time I fly Virgin, a little red bag. Actually, they had a great caption on, on a poster I saw in London, which was that uh, we have more experience than our name implies. <laughs> <laughs> Quentin's apartment in there. Don't do staring. I love all these paintings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was that drink I have to remember to make? Oh, Rob Roy. Rob Roy. Rob Roy. I mean, no fucking drinks, those sort of things. But you should have a book anyway. I have in time. <laughs> I mean, they should have a couple of the bars. Well, I think third street, my favorite time of day. <laughs>